and welcome to Vlogmas part two. Here's Cole's drive to the prairie. Normally it's the Cole show as we all know and I just sit there looking pretty. You do always look pretty. I agree with that. So we are on the way to the Priory. Priory is a restaurant in Wareham which is near to where we live and we normally go every year um, with my family and last year we started a new tradition with um, our best friends where we went with them first for lunch and then with my family nearer to Christmas but obviously in light of the current um, current situation with the current restrictions we're in tier two in Bournemouth so that means that um, we can only go of our household bubble so Colin and I decided to just go just us two today for lunch so I'm really looking forward to it it's a horrible bleak gross rainy day um, it takes about half an hour to get there so we thought we would do the intro now because as soon as we get there we're gonna hop for it in showing down baby what are you most looking forward to I am looking forward to having the oh, I don't know actually there's a lot of stuff I'm interested to try the cheese souffle. I've never had a souffle before. No, they, normally they do, obviously it's a Christmas menu, and normally they do similar sorts of um, meals, like set menus. Um, so we've gone for the turkey and the Christmas dinner, sorry, the turkey and the Christmas pudding for the pudding. But um, the starters are a bit different this year, so we've both gone for the cheese souffle. In hindsight, I wish we'd gone for a different thing, then we could have tried it. It's like that. It's like that scene from High School Musical, isn't it? Where he says, did he say cheese souffle? Creme brulee. Creme brulee, it's not souffle. It's not souffle. Damn. Well, I'm currently sweating my nips off because Colin insists on putting the heat on really high. It's really cold. Ugh, um, his, his heat goes from being like freezing cold to roasting my nose hairs. Roasting, just roasted chestnuts over an open fire. So yes, the next, we don't, we don't really know what to expect in terms of restrictions. Obviously we've got to wear a mask when we go in. And obviously it's just household bubbles. Normally when we go, there's like a little um, lounge where you sit and you look at the menu, you sit by the fire, it's all decorated lovely. Um, I'm not sure how that will work this year. It might not even be open. We might have to just go straight into the restaurant and sit at the table, which of course is fine, but the lounge is a really lovely, cosy atmosphere. But we know it's gonna be different this year, but we were keen to still do something because um, it would just feel weird to not go. With everything's being cancelled, so it'd be nice to you know, keep some form of normality. Yeah, it's just a shame. Um, it's just such a shame that we can't go with my family and of course um, our best friends too. But, oh well, you know, sucks to be you guys, we're still going. There's always next year. <laughs> Right, so pretty that reef. Christmas lights. Pretty. Oh, delicious. Awesome. Picture, picture. And the bread as well. I don't know how you eat it. Do you just kind of cut into it? Not sure. Lovely, it just had the Swede and it tasted like pure Swedish butter. Wow, Christmas dinner. It's delish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the veg. And where's the old cranberry sauce? Oh boy. Can't forget the cranberry sauce. Mm -mm. The perfect end to any Christmas meal. What is it, Shaws? Christmas pudding. You see, I've got the holly that matches the woods. 
That was all planned, wasn't it? Mm. Take a picture of my little. You got your after dinner coffee. My little coffee. Cute. It's very nice. You've got my hot chocolate as well. The proper manly drink. Yeah. yeah. The man made fun of him. He said he couldn't find the marshmallows. And I was like, I would have been happier if there was cream and a flake as well. That would have made it. <laughs> I've got a mince pie each as well. Yay. Just what managed to fit it in. But we will. We will. That's my first mince pie. Since last year. Yeah. Exciting. This is like my fifth. <laughs> Christmas. Da, 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 da. Look at the light. Uh, click on it. Watch you do it. It's funny. It's yeah, it's funny. Oh, look at the tree in the window. Normally, when we come to the priory and we have our meal, before and after, we would sit in this lovely lounge and have a drink or look at the menu. It's always so nice because you get the nice tree and just very cozy atmosphere. And you can't see here, but there's a massive fireplace down there. Lovely tree. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Yeah, I like the that tree. It's nice. There's a little sled there's a little sled next to it. Very cute. The secret garden. No, they've not roped it off. They've that's that's separate. That's, that's separate, yeah. But yeah, we can't get it there. Oh, it's like a cool little pod over there, yeah, overlooking the water. Because yeah. cool, it's been horrible weather, we can't get there. The, I don't know. Can wow. you guys sit in it? I don't know. I guess so. Probably, but I don't really want to go on the grass. Well, we've been coming and it's been late. We've not really gone there, have we? background we're home after a lovely day or a lovely lunch at the Priory in Wareham so yeah do you like Priory? Very much I feel really really full now to the point where I've had to pop a few gavels gone <laughs> I'm just not used to eating a lot of food a lot of rich food a lot of well I had two glasses of Prosecco I was already tired and groggy I didn't sleep the best went to bed late last night and then the wind and the rain woke me up early this morning so I need to just get my pajamas on. Do you want to show everybody my outfit? I'm really pleased yes, with my outfit. Yes, I was going to say. Just show you this little. How do you this little scene that show they created? It's lovely. It's really nice, isn't it? Very pretty. Right, your outfit. Yes, I got it from a company called Popsy. I saw it on Instagram. It's not something I would normally ever go for a jumpsuit, but I thought it was really flattering. It obviously looks better with shoes on because it's a little bit long, but it's just really comfy, really stretchy, really nice. Um, Nicely made. It reminds me a bit of sea salt, which is really expensive, because this was only, I think it was £38. Just, yeah, it's just really nice. Very festive. You could get one of Christmas trees on, but I thought this was a bit more subtle, because it's got um, holly on it, so it's wintry, not just Christmassy. You probably get away with that any time of the year. Mm, it is quite wintry. It is nice. It suits you very much. I brought this, well, especially for the Priory. So in terms of at the Priory, if it was nice and you saw the videos of it, um, the safety measures they had, uh, we felt safe there, good space between the tables, um, we had to wear a face mask when you entered and when you were being walked to the dining hall, um, had our temperature taken, which was fine, took a few seconds, so yeah, it was all, uh, and we had to fill out our details for the track and trace, which is, you know, Yeah, it's all standard now. stuff, the only thing that was different was they closed the, la the lounge, but I think on the way out there I said that I suspected that would be the case, Yeah. so we just sat at once you got your table, got to your table, you just stayed there apart from obviously using the bathroom. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was fun, wasn't it? It was lovely, delicious. For very really full. nice. 
very tired as well. It feels like we've we've not really done much. We've just gone to a we've nice restaurant, sat down and eaten. I just feel really tired. So we've still got quite a bit we need to do. We need to write Christmas cards because we realise we've not done any Christmas cards no, yet. No, we need to start getting them out to people because it's going to take a bit longer because of the post. And we got a few through the post a couple of days ago and we were like, oh crap, we actually need to do this. Oh dear. Um, so that's what's going to be the plan for tonight, isn't it? Um, Christmas Chronicles in the background. Christmas Chronicles, woo! Because Colin will panic if we don't get another Christmas film in. Well, I would this have is what I have to do with people. He's I, a little crazy. I would have chosen Elf or Home Alone. No, I said no. Chronicles is fine. It is fine. It's fine. It is fine. I said no, they, they're nearer to Christmas. Yeah. And they're not films that you necessarily have to watch before Christmas. No, you don't. You need to pay full attention to those. They're the sort of things you watch when you're rapping. Chill, baby. I'm dating someone in rapping. I just love Christmas. Christmas. Christmas is meant to be about fun. Christmas on the square. Christmas just, in the flat. He means well. He just wants us to have the best time. But look time. how much better your skin looks compared to mine. I look like a pasty ghost and you're like a nice sun-kissed goddess. It's, it's the tropic. <laughs> <laughs> Find more at Show in the Race Tropic. <laughs> Actually, a quick thing before we end this Saturday of part two. My advent calendar. So, for any of you who've watched the vlogs, a vlogmas series from the past couple of years, you'll know I've had endless disappointments with the advent calendars I've chosen. Last year was uh, Reese's Cups, which was very disappointing, and the year before, Ferrero Rocher, which is just as bad. So, I thought I'd go back to basics and get the Dairy Milk one, which you know, I used to get this every year growing up as a kid. But this is the slightly more expensive one. Um, this was £3. The normal one's about, I don't know, about two quid, one pound. So, I got this one for £3, um, and it's got thicker chocolates, which have a nice filling, and also questions on the back for each day, which I think is nice. And the shapes are really cool. So, let me show you door five. So, where's number four? Five. Uh, here we go. There's number five there. So what you do is you look on the back, the corresponding number, and the question is how many Christmas trees are grown in Europe each year? So you can guess. I'm going to say five million. So let's open door five and see if I was correct. So look at that. Look how much. Look how cool, coolly, or epically detailed that is. It's a cool little train. I like that. And the answer is. 60 million Christmas trees are grown. So I like the fact there's questions and answers and that makes it um, a bit more interesting. And the chocolate's cool as well. Oh boy. Over the past couple of weeks, Shona has been working on this uh, stand. Is he taking credit for it? And I think it's best if the good lady indoors uh, discusses and explains. Well, I have to owe it to the fam who have helped me out tremendously. They've just given me the gingy. <laughs> Go on it. I thought, think, you, I, uh, thought I was your gingy. You are my gingy. But I last year I saw on Instagram that people, predominantly Americans, do a hot, ch a hot chocolate stand at Christmas. So um, I really liked it. Mentioned it to my family last weekend that I wanted to do one because obviously we're at home, hot chocolates. And um, they said that they have this old stand that they don't use. So we cleaned it up and then we went to Home Bargains on Monday. No, we want to take everything off because it just kind of. Moves. You have to be careful because the top layer is very uneven. No, it's a little broken. And I got these jars for like forty nine p, and then my family made these. Um, they called labels. labels. So I got some little marshmallows. These are delish. <laughs> I've got some little treats in there. I think they're like two sins a pop, so I need to be sparing of those. Now hold that. Hot chocolate, that was from Hope Bargains. Hot choc. <laughs> and then they brought me this nutcracker from Stuart's Garden Centre. I think he was only like five pounds. He's adorable. And they also brought me this little gingerbread house from Haskins, along with the candy canes. This is a Shona, well actually it's brought, Santa knitted it for Amelia in her stocking one year and she said, Amelia's my sister. And she said she didn't want it, she thought it was weird. So I have since adopted him and I love him so much. So he is now mine. <laughs> and then we've, ha we've had these mugs ages, didn't we? Didn't you get given that by work? Uh, one was a secret Santa. Yeah, that one. And, and we the other one was that. from the range. Yeah, we yeah. brought that from the range. Yeah. We've always just had them as decorations. So yeah, it's, it's going to sit here and we're going to change it each season. My mum also brought me, because I wanted a little sign that says hot chocolate here. But um, my mum brought me this chalkboard but unfortunately it's quite heavy and where it's a heart and my terrible writing, hot chalk. Hot chalk? So it sits over here. 
So yeah, that's nice. It's very cute. It's been nice, isn't it? It brings a bit of festivity to the kitchen. We also found these syrups in Home Bargains. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, in the fridge, aren't they? Used to the Home Bargains hall. Mm. And um, they are... Oh, darn, get that Bailey's out, son. Darn, you know darn, darn, darn. I've Actually, got gingerbread syrup. No? No, I'm not going to there, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I've not. got gingerbread syrup. It's skinny syrup, so it's zero sugar. And for a tablespoon, I think it's like one cent, I'm on something well, so I have to be mindful of these things. And where is the other one? Oh, here. And this literally tastes like Costa gingerbread latte. And then we also got toasted marshmallow, which I haven't tried yet, but I think that's going to be delish. So I've been putting the gingerbread one actually in my hot chocolate, and mmm. So I've got options hot chocolate, it can be a little bit meh. But if you put in the gingerbread, very nice. Well, good morning everyone. It's Sunday the 6th of December and it's the second day of part two of Road to Disney's Vlogmas. You see the Road to Disney sign behind me? Uh, you can probably just about make that out. Uh, so it's Sunday morning. I'm still in my pyjamas and dressing gown as you can see. Um, Sharon has gone to the gym, um, in, she's inspirational for a Sunday morning after we had a big meal yesterday but yeah she's gone to do a spin class at the gym um, so I'm home alone at the moment. So what I'm doing at the moment is trying to plan for today's Where's the Bear and just to briefly explain if you're not aware of Where's the Bear is, it's an alternative to an advent calendar for Shona where I get a small chocolate limp bear and I hide it in different places around the flat and I give her a clue and she has to find it. We're doing it every other day uh, and today is a where's the bear day. So I think I've come up with a place to hide today's one. I'll show you what I'm thinking. This is my uh, work from home desk. Briefly see, got a little Christmas tree and a little shelf with some bits on. Uh, but here I've got a genie pen pot which I got for a Christmas present I believe or a birthday present and that's this is from Primark so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these pens away put the bear inside here and then showing this clue will be friends like me um, I'll play that to her when she gets in from the gym so hopefully I, I don't want to make it too easy but I don't want it to be too hard either uh, so hopefully that's a good blend on that one so yep let's wait for Shaz to get home and we will do Where's the Bear? Hello, it's a few hours after, quite a lot later from when I spoke to you this morning. And Shoz is back. Yay, I'm back. From spin, an inspiration. She got up early this morning to do spin, as I said. It How was it? Like today, to be honest. How was it? Oh, sorry, I drank squash really quickly. <laughs> it was horrendous. All I could taste was acid, where we had such a heavy rich meal last night, I'm not used to eating like it. And it was as if I'd never done spin before. It was awful. It was but, honestly truly awful. But you did it. I actually thought it was gonna be sick. It, it on a scale of nine to 10, it was 15 of awfulness. But you did it. Well done. And it's sunny, yay. But before we go anywhere, uh, this is one of the most important parts. Let's feel the face of char. Of the day. Yes. So it's time for Where's the Bear, episode or four. It's the yeah. fourth one, I think. Yeah, fourth one. So, Shaz's well, clue... Well, elaborate clues. Well, the dear listeners... Dear listeners? Dear watchers already know what, where it is. Oh, okay. So, let's see, dear watcher, how quick she is. I can't unlock my phone because... Your phone's too you know, long. Yeah. Right, this is Shaz's clue. Let's see if she gets it. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You excited? Yes. Are you sure it's clear? Aladdin. I'll leave it. I'll leave it plain, but Shaz already knows the clue. Let's go on Shaz's cam now. Yeah, no, it's Aladdin. But what on earth is it? What is Aladdin themed in this flat? Yeah, all I can think about is my makeup. You put it in my makeup drawer. Yeah, but I can't say yes or no. You need to go. Incorrect. 
thought you. Oh, you have you've that. got you've got a genie mug, haven't you? She's sniffing around. I hope it'll be dirty. Yay! She got it pretty quick, actually. I am. I was in two minds as to how quick you would get it. She can't get it out. I was thinking lamp, but I was like, we don't have a lamp. Well played. Why have you got all the pens not to take out to my I had to, get, I had to get them out to the bearing. Say, what a stupid thing. <laughs> You've not got um, the pen to the pen The sea, the bear? The. Oh, oh. What's going to be the next word, I wonder? There you go, the. What has it been so far? I don't actually know. <laughs> I know it's, like, it's light, it's going to be light in the darkness, isn't it? But I don't actually remember what the first one said. Need light to, in the. Don't forget to take a picture of this one before you I will, eat it. I will. Can we show you, dear viewers, your curl? Colin thought he was getting his hair cut yesterday. Yeah, I, I thought I was being really smart and I booked my hair cut curl. a few days before the second lockdown in England. And I booked it for the Saturday after lockdown, so the Saturday yesterday. I was like, oh, it got to like Thursday, didn't it? And I was like, oh, I've not heard anything. Yes, my hair cut must be going, uh, going ahead. And then I looked on their Facebook page, and back in the middle of last month, they said all bookings up to the 6th of December have been cancelled. You don't need to contact us, we'll automatically cancel them for you. So I would have turned up yesterday and not had an appointment. You've got a great nose hair. I know. So my haircut is now on Tuesday, so I've got to wait till Tuesday to get this mop Freaky sorted licky. out. Yeah. It's I know. I, know. I, I wash, I wash. Right. There's Bear too. Bear found. Yeah, now it's time for my advent calendar. Oh Christ. No opened it yet. Hey everyone, it's time for door six of the Dairy Milk Advent calendar. So let's look. Firstly, let's find where door six is. Oh, there's over here. So what we do, as you know, we flip it over, look what question six is, and the question is, how long in meters was the longest ever Christmas stocking? In meters. Let's say a hundred meters would be quite a big one. Let's have a look and this see. This just shows I've not been doing this with you because I didn't know this is what you do. Well, the answer's in the door. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a big poo. Look. <laughs> it's like a big poo. A big shit. I think it's an acorn. Yeah, it's an acorn. Yeah. Pinecone. What I love about this. Not an acorn, pinecone. Like, they're very detailed. No, this isn't so detailed, but all the other doors have been really well detailed. I'm very impressed and by Is it the filled with anything? Look. Yeah, it's like a soft filling. Oh, the answer is 32.56 meters. So I like, I like the question and answers. It adds an extra depth to your advent calendar, you know? So let's have a bite in and see how it is. Your hair looks like a loaf. Look, filled with white chocolate goodness. Ganache. It's Gloriere's. It's a cute little display. It's a tigger. Trip to Starbucks for a festive bear. You want to see what I've treated you to? Yes, let's see what's in the bag. Are you excited? I know what to expect. Oh, it's got to be this way. You do know what to expect. No, you haven't. Oh my god, look at that mint pie. I said to Colin if he went two weeks doing gluten free, he could have the mint pie from Starbucks. Yeah, it's so big. I can't wait to try that. And plus, Shona brought me a present as well. But I'm not allowed to look. We can show what I bought in the bookshop for myself. We. Is it coming out? Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, it's got that new book smell. We um, watched the Netflix series of Dash and Lily on Netflix a couple of weeks ago now, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was so good that um, we must have watched it within a week. Less than oh, a week. Yeah, less than a week, three, four days. We watched a lot of it really quickly. And um, we were just went into our local bookshop in Westbourne and um, Colin pointed out that they had the book and I thought it was just the first one. But no, it's actually the second one. There's like three already, three books. Yeah, yeah. That means there'll probably be another series. Yeah. And you'll know what happened because you'll be reading the book. And I absolutely loved it. It just made me feel like a teenager. And I remember when I fell in love with Coles. And made you want to go to um, New, York, New York, York for Christmas time, I guess. Yeah, and the man in the bookshop said that that actually, the bookshop that's in the series actually is a real bookshop. I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh. And he kind of looked at us like we're crazy, but yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, so that's good. And yes. there's something else near for me as well, which I'm not allowed to look at. No, you're not allowed to look at. Anyway, Vince Panther. 
You may take your Here first munch. Here we go. I feel like the guy from Man vs. Food. Good. Oh, filling is really nice, but also the pastry is nice and soft. Nice. Like, sometimes when you have a mince pie, like the filling is obviously, you know, uh, moist and the outer layer is quite thick. So when you bite into it, it crumbles away, but it hasn't, it's just sort of like crumbled nicely together. Mm, it looks just... very deep. Very nice. I'm going in again. So we're now, oh my god, my, home, my hair looks tragic. Not good. Uh, so home now, after a nice trip around the local town. She's only got a few bits. For me, exciting. I see she's doing duck lips. Uh, we got some food, uh, went to Starbucks. It was nice, all the Christmas lights were up around the town. So as we were walking around, it got slowly darker and it looked more festive. Uh, this evening, we are seeing some friends who we've not seen in ages at an Alpine bar uh, in a nearby town. Uh, they've got an outside space which they've turned into an Alpine, Alpine bar. Because we're currently in tier two, we can only meet people up to six from other households outside. So this is legally acceptable. So we're going to go meet them there, um, have some food, have some drinks. And it's currently about two degrees outside, so it's going to be absolutely freezing. But it'll be nice festive fun, won't it, Shaz? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to find my woolly hat. Yes, we need hat and gloves. It's going to be very cold. Cheers guys, come on. Cheers, Merry Christmas. I can't actually, this isn't safe, I'm going to smell a drink of right. I'm always going to burn my lips. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, I need to make sure you're not blurry. There we go. He literally took a swig of the stein and he missed it. Chug, 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 chug. Was this sticky toffee waffle, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's literally sticky toffee pudding crumbled on top of a waffle. All snugly in your Christmas tire, the tree behind you. Temperature drops. <laughs> Just come back. Hey, Charles. Hey. Christmas time from our lovely evening out at the Hallandwood House Olive Branch Pub uh, in their outside Alpine Alp, Alp, uh, Alpine Bar. Yes, like uh, a neck. We met some friends. Um, it was really nice. Bit secure inside. Uh, Yummy food. Classes outside because it was a Alpine Bar yes. with a cover on it. And it was freezing cold. Must mind about two two degrees. I was all right to start with, and then. Because I took my coat off to eat my dinner, and then um, I went to the loo, so I went inside, came back out, and I was like, oh, I actually feel really cold, so I had to put my hat on. Um, our friends brought blankets, we had a blanket, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we went for a walk around Wimborne afterwards, which you you filmed, haven't you? Yeah, so you'll see, you've probably already seen the footage, actually. It's very festive, very Really nice, very but bright, yeah, lovely. that kind of finished me off. I was just like, I am so cold. Oh, yeah. The car said six. No way is it six. No, it, it was about two or one. It's probably the coldest it's been in a long time. It was freezing. But oh, really lovely. we've come back to the flat with the heating on, so that's nice. It's lovely and warm in here. I feel grateful that we were able to still see friends and do our... Angle gift exchange, which was nice, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, it was very nice. So, um, that's the world we're living in in tier two yeah. at the moment, unfortunately. But <laughs> sitting hopefully, outside. Yeah, basically sitting outside. <sighs> but it was fun. So, thank you. We're going to wrap it up now. Thank you for watching Vlogmas episode two. 
Um, we'll be back next weekend. Where what are we doing? Ooh, what are we doing next week? Do we have two more weekends until Christmas? Yeah, I think we do. <gasps> I'm not sure. I think I'm getting some Christmas presents next weekend. We'll, we'll I don't know. We'll Might do it. something next weekend and we'll film. So thank you for watching, everyone. Back next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely. Do you know what Christmas I was going to say? I was going to say, take care. Take care, everyone. <laughs> take Bye. Care. Bye. Bye.